I was mentioning that uh, transfer function is the mathematical model in S domain to analyze the given system. Analysis may be whether the system is stable or not and speed of response. So, these are the two parameters that are to be seen with the help of transfer function. But transfer function has some limitations. Transfer function has got some limitations that is it is the ratio of Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input, but initial conditions are ignored. So, no initial conditions are taken into consideration. Initial conditions if you consider an electrical system, a capacitor may have initial voltage in it or inductor if you take there may be an initial current in the inductor. So, that initial current and initial voltage across energy storage elements is not being taken into consideration. So, transfer function has got that limitations, but in a practical circuit or systems initial conditions cannot be ignored always. So, that is one limitation of transfer function and also it can be applied only to linear systems, but in fact almost all practical systems are non-linear, but this transfer function has got limitation it can apply only to the linear system. Linear system I mentioned it should obey the law of superposition and homogeneity. So, it is justified like that any non-linear system even if you take if you take some portion of the non-linear graph it looks almost linear. That means, it is justified that uh, transfer function is applied to the non-linear systems because that control of any parameter it comes only for the portion of the non-linear curve. So, that it is justified though it is for linear system. Another important thing is this is applied only to time invariant systems. What is meant by time invariant? I was mentioning in the previous class that if you are controlling the DC motor there there is an armature resistance when the current flows through the armature resistance that resistance of the armature varies because of the temperature that the resistance is not constant, but still we consider armature resistance is constant for our analysis and that is nothing but time invariant though it is varying, but we consider as a time invariant system because that variation we ignore. Another limitation of transfer function is it cannot be applied to multiple input and multiple output systems. It is only for single input and single output systems, but in a practical or in a real systems there may be multiple inputs and outputs. So, in such case transfer function analysis cannot be applicable to those systems. All these limitations can be overcome by state variable approach state variable approach that we see at the end of this particular subject.